Okay, so with my free time on my hands, I have been looking around eBay and a few things have cropped up that I've been quite surprised by. And so I thought I would share them with you. Uh, well, this has nothing to do with it, but that is <laughs> um, quite a price. But one of the main things I spotted was the PlayStation 4. Pro. Uh, so one terabyte, which it is one terabyte. And one of the things is, if you go to your local main retailer, you can buy a PlayStation 4 Pro for 349 pound. But then you go to eBay. We want UK only. It's already on UK only. <clears throat> and you'll see straight away there. £350 plus £10 postage. PlayStation 4 Pro, 1 terabyte console. Others, fair enough, they come with extra games so they'll bump the price up, but a lot. No, look at this one. From Argos. PlayStation 4 Pro 1 terabyte <clears throat> from Argos with extra postage and there's 109 sold so how does that make any sense when like I said you can actually go to the store no postage involved because you're picking it up <laughs> and yeah um, that's a VR PlayStation 4 Pro plus VR PlayStation 4 Pro 1 terabyte brand new 420 pounds 420 pounds <clears throat> 444 pounds and they just go on and on and on uh, that one's got extra controllers you can buy them from the United States <laughs> uh, 637 plus 64 postage that's a uh, why would they even offer it to the UK's customers? Uh, whoa! That's a PSVR uh, virtual reality. <clears throat> Four hundred pounds, five hundred and thirty. Made in Japan. It's rare. I thought that was all made in Japan. Free shipping from Japan for 544. That's only 200, over 200 more. Uh, 375. And it isn't just the PlayStation 4 that does this. Well, the sales anyway. <clears throat> and there's another 390. It looks the same box. No extras. 17 games, that's fair enough. 9 games. Uh, I need 10 pound more there. Click and collect from Argus again. <clears throat> and like I said, you can do this with. Um, yep, there's another 367. You can do this with the Xbox as well. Which you do get bundles that so will go over here. Xbox One S. And you get the popular ones. They, uh, <coughs> that comes with extra controllers. But this one. There's two of them. Two ones here. What if they're the same seller? Abs. Abs with the Minecraft. 
Yep, same guy. Same guy. Marking up the prices. So, one terabyte Gears of War bundle. <clears throat> one terabyte Gears of War. No. So, what we can do is simply see what the best deals is. Uh, Tesco. Tesco do that bundle for $249.99 free shipping. $249. Yeah, as you can see, this guy likes to bump up the price fair a bit. And the he's pretty much going for the same sort of price for the bundles. So 336 we'll say. 336. Which terabyte was it? One terabyte. 336 he sells it for. Mm. Yeah, so. And. Is that, there's the 500 gig there. 500 gig bundle is. 230. Over a hundred pounds is adding to that one. He actually charges more. Oh, that one's actually charging more for the 500 gig than the one terabyte gig. One terabyte. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Gears of War. How much was the Gears of War? One terabyte. 200. 249.99. Seems to be very popular. Two hundred forty-nine ninety-nine, hundred pound profit there. Yep, same sort of thing. Asking way over three hundred. And there's the Minecraft. That was there. Three hundred and twenty-six. Three hundred and twenty-six. One hundred and twenty pounds. <laughs> one hundred and twenty pound profit they want to make on that one. They do give you free postage though. Gears of War again. Gears of War was a oh, four game bundle. But yeah. It's not uncommon look. 337. 337. Yep. So 250 there. You can get your uh, warranty, which I don't know of. I'd much rather. Go to a main retailer. So I know if there's any issues, I can go straight back to the store, exchange it there and then instead of getting in touch with eBay, eBay t sellers saying there's an issue, or I doubt you're going to get any sorts of warrants in it. I mean, look, what's this? Well, with over 100 games. Fuck it up. Uh, yeah, it's just the same. Is that that um, Abs, whatever his name was? Abs? No, the day trader. The day robber. <laughs> That's what that should be, the day robber. 350. But yeah, he makes he wants to make 100 on that one. The day robber. Does the day robber do the next one above him? For FIFA? The day robber? No. No, but everyone's on it. Everyone is trying to add 100 pounds or more these consoles so hopefully we've all learnt that if you want to buy a console your best bet is to uh, wonder what the price comparison is for game the actual main game store game Check the Xbox One. Where is it? Xbox One. The one S. Xbox One S. Uh, they come with more than one game. FIFA Plus Halo Master Chief Collection. They offer more than one game. Ah, oh, there's one. Xbox One S. 
one tablet console with Gears of War. See, even the main retailer for games consoles charges more than if you go to. <coughs> where's it gone? Oh, I've lost it now. Can I just highlight that? Yeah. Uh, yeah, £250 from Tesco. <coughs> £250 from Tesco. But if you actually go to a, a games console retailer, they will charge you an extra £50. Do they have just the FIFA? Yes, they do. And you can go to 1TB, £260. £260. But if you go to their main retailer, £300. Yeah, it saves a lot. So that's all. You can actually go and do a fair few things on eBay to do this, and find all kinds of crazy expectations from sellers. If you think it was interesting, give it a like. If you want to give me some input, give me a comment. And if you want to see future videos, um, and subscribe. Thank you. Peace out.